All right, welcome to Unit 1, Exploring One Variable Data from AP Statistics. This is Topic 1.2 Lesson, the Language of Variation Variables. All right, so the most important question in this entire video is going to be, what is a variable? So the definition is a variable is a characteristic that changes from one individual to another. So an individual is anything, object, person, place that we collect data from. So we collect variables from individuals, and literally anything that you could collect from one of these individuals is considered to be a variable. Now, where does it get the name variable? Well, because typically the things that you collect vary from individual to individual. So there are two types of variables that we're going to learn about and use throughout the entire year. The first is a categorical variable, and the second is a quantitative variable. Understanding the difference between these two variables is vital for a lot of things that we do in the future. All right, first, let's start with a categorical variable. A categorical variable takes on values that are category names or group labels. Example, are you dominant? Is your dominant hand right or left? So that's going to put you into a category, right? Are you in the right category? I use my right hand. Or are you in the left hand category? I use my left hand. Age group, are you young? Maybe under 20? Are you middle age? 20 to say 40? Or are you old? Anything over 40? You can even have more age groups if you want, but you get placed into a category. So each individual, based on their response, goes into a category, hence categorical variable. Another example is the highest degree you have earned. Do you have no diploma at all? high school diploma, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree. Again, it's a category that you go into. So think of it like that. Now, the best way to understand a categorical variable is think words that describe an individual and place them into a category. So 99% of the time, we can come up with one example where it's not, but 99% of the time, a categorical variable, the answer to the question is going to be a word. What's your hair color? It's going to be a word. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? It's going to be a word. The only example that you could possibly, well, not say the only example, but an example that I could give you would be zip code. Zip code, the answer is a number, but that is actually still a categorical variable. Now, no one's ever going to try to trick you with numbers that are actually, you know, categorical, what have you, but just keep in mind that zip code is a number, but remember, a number, your zip code is actually just putting you into a category of where you live so that the post office knows where to send your mail. Um, so for the large majority for this course, just think words that describe an individual, categorical variable. All right, the second type of variable is a quantitative variable. Here, we're thinking of a quantitative variable as one that takes on numerical values for a measured or counted quantity. So now we're talking about the answer to a question is a numerical value that is measured or counted. So again, go back to zip code. You don't measure somebody's zip code and you don't count somebody's zip code. So those are two reasons why zip code is actually a categorical variable. But that's one of the only very few exceptions. So examples here are age of a structure. So there's a house. How old is it? Well, it's 23 years old. The answer you gave me was a measured number. How old is that building in Rome? Well, that building's 150 years old. Okay, and that is a measured number. Height of a child. How tall are you? I can measure the height of a child. Maybe I get 52 inches, 43 inches. Measured value. Salt concentration, a sample of water. So maybe I you know, have a sample of water and I measure that there is, you know, 15 parts per million of salt in that water, or, you know, who knows what the unit could be, but, you know, it's going to be something that I have to measure, right? If I want to figure out how much water or how much salt is in water, I got to measure it somehow. The answer is going to be a number. It's going to have a unit on it. That's going to be a quantitative variable. Also, it could be something that is counted. For example, how many Skittles are in that package? Well, you don't measure how many Skittles you count. So that's also quantitative variable. So I counted 19 Skittles came in that package. Oh, 18 Skittles came in this package. Um, even if I'm saying, how many chairs are in that classroom? Oh, I counted 22 chairs in that classroom. That's a quantitative variable. Measured, counted, pretty much mean the same thing, but the idea is there. It's a number, right? So here, think numbers. Categorical, think words. 
don't get too lost and and think that I'm going to try to trick you with that one example of a zip code. But remember, just be careful. It needs to be measured and it needs to be counted. That's what makes it quantitative. The other suggestion I give to kids is to make sure that there's something after the number. Whether it's a word like, hey, I counted 22 desks. Or it's a unit, like, hey, that's 22 inches long. Whereas a zip code has nothing after it. 4406. Zip code. Okay, great. Nothing after it. The other thing is quantitative variables need to be averaged. For example, I could say, oh, of all those buildings, the average age is 19.6 years. Of all those kids, the average height is 46.3 inches. Of all those packages of Skittles, there's an average of 17.8 in a package. It needs to be something that's averaged. So go back to the categorical, right? You don't average words. You can't say the average hair color is browned in. You can't average words, right? Same thing with zip code. You can't average zip code. There's no, it makes no sense to say the average zip code is... 1,200, it just doesn't even make sense. So again, categorical, think words that put you into a category. Quantitative, think a numerical value that was measured, counted, and can be averaged. All right, guys, that's it for topic 1.2. Pretty simple. See it on the next video.